Are you wondering if you've got the right bait? Am I not in the right area? Am I using the wrong technique? I'm really frustrated. I think I need some help. If you're fishing the delta from the bank and having trouble catching fish, today's video is for you. It's all about bank angling. Today I'll be joined by Kenny Vang. Kenny is a master angler out here and he solely fishes from the bank. Kenny does not own a boat. He's out here three or four days a week and he's catching fish. He's catching quality fish. Today I'll interview Kenny and Kenny will give you some tips and tricks on how to catch fish on the California delta while strictly fishing from the bank. We're getting into the video right now. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. You're watching In Deep on the Delta and today we're talking all about bank fishing. I have master bank angler Kenny Vang here. Kenny, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Steve. And before we get into the video, I want everyone to understand you do not own a boat. I do not own any watercraft. You got a car though. Yep. You got a car. You're using your <laughs> your tennis shoes for your trolling motor. That's correct. All right, 100% bank man. Yep. Today he's out with me on the boat. We're having a good time today, but Kenny fishes from the bank. He's very successful. He gets good quality fish and he gets good numbers of fish. It can be done. So today we're going to be picking Kenny's brain about how he finds his areas, his locations. We're going to talk about rods, his favorite bank uh, baits. And I really want to talk to you about the technique of how you move around once you get to that area. You know, how you're fishing it, how you're going about catching these fish. So. So, Kenny, uh, let's talk about how you find the area that you that you, that you're going to be starting to fish. I get you're you're obviously using a road map. You're using Google Maps. What do you do? Um, I use Google Maps first to scout the area or the stretch that I want to fish, and then after that, I switch over to the Navionics map and to find the bottom terrain if it's deep, if it's shallow, and then I go from there. Okay, and for those of you who don't aren't familiar with the Navionics um, uh, app, I'll put the information up there so you can check it out and if you want, decide you want to use that, it's it's pretty inexpensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, it costs about 20 something dollars, but it's like for a whole entire year mm -hmm. and it's it's a really helpful app, it's helped me a lot. And that gives all your bottom contours and everything, even though you're not on a boat, if you pull up to a certain area, you can look out there and see where the steep banks are, where the flats are, so on and so forth. So. We got, we're, we're at our area, we're looking at our Navionics, we know there's some areas we like to fish. You're probably visually looking for points, tules, uh, vegetation, things like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, when I pull up to an area, just kind of scouting around, I don't go down there yet, just kind of scouting around, see what's there, what kind of cover and stuff like that, and then I'll just go from there. Okay. So we got our location. Uh, Give me your four rods that you use. We're talking a little bit about rods and baits, and then we're going to talk about the actual techniques that Kenny uses to catch his fish. So four rods that, that you generally carry. Uh, I carry a medium action, a medium heavy, a spinning rod, and then the fourth rod is kind of like an all-around rod, whatever I want to mm -hmm. tie on. And so you're, you're talking about a heavy rod maybe being a punch rod? You do uh, a yeah. lot of punch? Okay. Yeah. And a frog rod? Yeah. Okay. And, and then you have kind of a multi um, a multi-purpose rod. So if somebody's coming out with one rod, what do you suggest? If just one, if I had, if I just had to choose one rod, um, I'll probably just go with a medium heavy. Because the medium heavy is a, is a broad spectrum. You can pretty much get away with tying on anything you want to throw and just seven it. seven foot seven foot two medium heavy. Uh, I go seven feet. Seven feet is really good mm -hmm. because sometimes, I mean, when you're casting those bushes or mm -hmm. trees behind mm -hmm. you, but uh, about seven feet to seven, two, seven feet to around there. And are you spooling that up? We we're talking about a uh, conventional rod. Are you using straight braid most of the time? Um, I guess it just depends on the application. If it's going to be heavy stuff, definitely braid. I wouldn't even mono. But if it's like lighter applications, then fluorocarbon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, okay, so you got... We're out at our location. We've got one rod. It's a seven foot medium heavy. Let's just say we've got braid with a leader on or whatever. Give me four or five of your favorite bank fishing baits. Um, I like punching, 
frogging, uh, drop shot, and uh, occasion and jerk bait. Just movie, just movie reaction baits. Uh huh. Yeah. And and you know I want to say too, I know a lot of you bank anglers that may only fish a couple couple of uh, maybe a couple days a month or a couple days a year. You don't want to go out and buy three, four, five rods. With that medium heavy, it is not an ideal punch rod. It's not an ideal frog rod. Mm -hmm. But you can you can you know put on a, a three quarter ounce or an ounce uh, weight and do a little punching, you can do a little frogging, eh, if, if you get into it, you start catching fish, you can expand from there and, yes. and, um, and, 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 and you know, expand your rod selection and your baits. So, we've talked about, we're at our area, and this is what I really want to get into, how you move around the bank. Uh, we're at the area, let's just say you see, you know, you talk about what you're looking for, maybe tules, uh, any kind of cover, how do you move around the bank? You, you you drive your car up to somewhere, you park it, and you start walking around. Do you fish off the off the road? How do you, how are you doing this to actually catch your fish? When I pull up into an area and I know I'm going to fish that stretch, I want to make my way down as quiet as possible. Try not to make too much noise, mm -hmm. especially. So you're, you're not fishing off the road part. No. You want to um, get down close to the water. Yeah, I want to try to get down there as close as I can, but not too close, just close enough. Mm -hmm. Because when you fish from the top of the row, you lose a lot of leverage and casting distance and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So I want to get down there as quiet as possible and make nice long casts. Mm -hmm. And you fish parallel with the bank most of the time. Yeah. Um, if if I want to make nice long casts, it's only going to be parallel. Mm -hmm. But if I'm tossing vertical and I'm fishing like a vertical presentation, it's going to be just short, short, nice, quick casts and just cover water as quick as I can. Just keep moving on. Okay. How many casts, if you're in one one area, say you get down to the bank, how many casts do you throw before you move? Do you, I know it depends on the area, but do you sit there for 5, 10, 15 minutes? Do you sit there for 2 or 3 minutes? Uh, on average, I spend about 3 to 5 minutes. Now, if I'm catching fish in that area, then I might spend a little bit longer, but I wouldn't stay there for more than 10 minutes. I just it's just cast and go, cast and go. And I think that's a problem that a lot of people have. They think they could just pull their car up and sit down in, on a, on a uh, lounge chair and fish all day. So you're you're moving from one spot to another once you park the car. Yeah. How far do you go up from from spot to spot when you're walking? Um, I try not to walk too far away from my car because I know I'm gonna have to get back and just cover water. So I walk like a good, I say 20, 30 yards max, and then I come back get into my car and drive down past the spot where I last stopped so I'm not refishing the same old area because I've already covered water in that area mm -hmm. and that's just how I fish along the bank. So one let's say one technique that you would use somebody going out not fishing a lot is would it be drop shot, chatter bait, uh, uh, jerk bait when you're on the bank what is your favorite most productive bait? Uh, my most productive bait is gonna be the drop shot It's just really nice plain, simple, and easy. I mean, you just toss it in there and just let it sink in. You know, they're going to hit it no matter what. And, and what, what worm do you like to use? or? Uh, my favorite worm is the rover worm. I mean, okay, that's, that, that, that's my go-to. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. You, you're going to catch a <laughs> lot of fish. And you know, you're, you're just trying to get bit. You're yeah. on the bank. Robo worm will get you a big fish. It'll get you a lot of fish. So, yep. you know, I know it sounds simple, but I wanted to talk, talk with you and just so the guys that are out there fishing from the bank know it is possible to catch fish. You don't have to do anything crazy. Yeah. You're going out, you're you got you're putting in a lot of work. I know you're out there three, four, five days a week. That's right. Uh, it, it doesn't come easy, but it can be done. And um, you know, for you guys that are, are, are angling from the bank, you want to see more more videos on bank fishing, let me know. We'll, I'll get Kenny and we'll do some very specific uh, videos on particular baits or times of year and things things of that nature. But um, Kenny, uh, thanks for coming on board. And like I said, I just wanted some people to get an eyeball on you. Uh, mm -hmm. They see you on my reports, you know, every now and then with holding up a nice fish and they're yeah. wondering how's this guy catching all these fish off the bank. It's it's not simple. It, it, it's time consuming and you got to put in your effort but you know what it can be done so thanks for sharing that information Kenny and um, let's try to pack up go out and catch a fish off of a boat oh yeah definitely all right <laughs> thanks for watching guys good luck we'll see you on the water <laughs>